In this video, I'll show you how to turn DaVinci Resolve from this to this in only a couple of minutes. I'll provide a drag and drop preset, but if you want full customization, you'll have to download Visual Studio Code. Either way, it's pretty easy and straightforward, so let's get into it. So the first step is downloading Visual Studio Code. If you're on Windows, download the Windows version. If you're on Mac, pick the Mac version. I'm on Windows, so I'm picking Windows. Once everything is installed, you should be met with this screen. Go to Extensions and type in Color. Then you'll need to install Color Highlight. Go into File Manager, This PC, Windows C Drive or wherever your DaVinci Resolve is located, Program Files, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, then scroll down to the F section for skins. Then you'll be met with a file called fusion.fuseskin. This is where all the magic happens. If you don't see the .fuseskin after the file, what you have to do is click on view, show, and then file name extensions. This will allow you to, to change the file extension, which is our first step. I'm going to control C and control V. And what I'm doing is just making a backup just in case we mess up along the way. Now, since you're following my tutorial, there's probably no way you're going to mess up, but just in case you do, rename it to dot fusion backup and save it. In the case that we do mess up, delete the file you changed and rename this to fusion.fuseskin and we'll be back at step one delete few skin and replace it with dot zip and press yes now we have a zipped folder all we have to do is unzip it and this is going to give us all the textures and settings that we will be changing now we have a fusion folder go into the folder and lo and behold we have every single texture that is on the fusion page. Now you might be thinking, Cloud, I don't feel like changing the color of every single button here. And I don't either. We'll be focusing on the fusion.skin file. This is where all the good stuff happens. So to make it simpler, Orca Gray is the toolbar color. This color down here, Penguin Gray is the color of the inspector menu, the node section, and pretty much most of the menus here. So for example, if I want to change the color of penguin gray, it is going to correspond to this color of 40, 40, 46. If you want to check to see what color that is, type in RGB parentheses, then you could copy this color, paste it here, and it will give a highlight of what the color is. So this looks like a nice darkish gray color. Let's go for a dark purple. Copy this, then paste it right here, and then delete the RGB. And we're done. We have successfully changed penguin gray. So for the next color, I want to change orca gray and I want it to be a, I don't know, something like that. Then I'm going to copy that. I like this paste and delete. And now we have changed penguin gray and orca gray. Now, if you want to see our changes, you have to press file, save as, and put that into your downloads folder. Now we can go back to the skins folder. Inside of here, we have our file fusion.skin. We're going to replace it with the one that we just made in our downloads folder. Replace, continue, and it's now replaced. Now, we could right click it, WinRAR, add to archive, and make it a zip. You don't have to use WinRAR for this. It could literally be any program that makes a zip file. Now we have fusion.zip. All we have to do is rename fusion.zip to fusion.fuseskin. Enter, yes, continue, and there we go. We have successfully changed the theme of the fusion menu. Now that we're back in fusion, as you can see, colors have changed. The faster way is to just change every single color at once and just have the color picker right next to it. And when you're done, you delete all the color pickers and save as. Anyways, if you want to install my preset, just drag and drop into the skins folder and press replace. And big thanks to Motion Epic FX for making the first Fusion theme pack. I'm building off of this, so I owe it all to him. Anyways, thanks for 2K, and see you in the next one.